Hi guys, my name is Stanley and I'm from RC Tank Legion. Thank you for watching my channel. Remember to subscribe. Today we're going to show you a how-to video on how to install the IBU board. The IBU board is from Italy and is made in Italy with high quality components. Okay, so uh, if I'm going to open it here, I'm going to show you how it looks like. As you can see, it is uh, littered with microprocessors. Okay, no, no more of those um, little capacitors and stuff like that. So the good thing about the IBU board, which is a multifunction unit, it replaces your uh, multifunction unit in your tank. You take away your old uh, MFU and you replace it with this. For Tigan, it should be plug and play. For the new Henglongs, it's a bit of a, a little bit change of the wiring, but it's, it is pre it's pretty much the same. You can just plug it in. Uh, the good thing about this is that it is user programmable for all the sound sets that they have. You can even create new sound sets. So what you need to do is to get one of these. It will come with a micro US uh, micro SD card, memory card like this. We provide a SD card with every board that you purchase. And what you need also is a micro SD card reader that connects to your computer, okay? So what we need to do is plug in your micro SD card, plug it to your computer. And inside the, the SD card, it will already have the file that you need to open and uh, and do all the edits, editing on your computer. So you want to change your sound from the, the, the uh, stock sound, which is Tiger 1. You want to change it to a King Tiger, for example, or Leopard 2 or, or Abrams. It's all up to you. It comes with about 30 or 40 different sound sets. I can't remember, but there's a lot in there and uh, you can change it as you like. So. For example, if you if you don't like the sound set, just take out this uh, micro SD card you, and you put another uh, micro SD card that has a different sound set loaded onto it. You will immediately play that sound. So that's the great thing about it. And if whatever settings you want to uh, you want to change, for example, the servo recoil is uh, is pulling the wrong direction instead of pulling in the barrel, it's pushing out the barrel. You can change the direction of the servo in the uh, SD card um, settings as well. So all kinds of things such as the barrel elevation speed, turret uh, speed, different setups like PPM, PWM, or you want to change to what we are using, the IBUS, uh, because IBUS or SBUS only uses one wire to send all of the signals into the, the board. So let me sh let, let's get into it. So basically you need to plug in your micro SD card to your computer using a micro SD card reader, open your computer, and then open the file. Uh, so this is what's on the uh, the micro SD card. Okay, what you need to do number one is if you wanted to, if you want to set this um, sound for your tank, you go to the tank file, and then all you need to do is, is you load the uh, sound set from uh, for the tank on this file. So as you can see over here right now, we set it up for the Abrams tank. And whatever else that you want to, to take uh, from the folders in, is in the tanks audio packages folder and we have over 30 20 30 sound sets here from so on and so forth there's a lot of sound sets over here and you probably can create your own as well so it's not difficult um, if you know how to do about it, but basically this is all the sounds that we have over here. And then what you need to do if you were to want to program uh, your sound set onto the board, for example, you just need to copy, not, not cut, copy the, the file onto the main page over here onto the tank. You click on tank and on the tank, you need to, uh, of course, delete what you have here. And then you paste the entire uh, uh, files onto this page. And then the next thing you need to do is you take the, the IBU ENI file from that for that particular tank and then you paste it up in front over here. Okay, it'll look like this. The reason why, because every individual tank has its own ENI file. Um, it basically is this ENI file, I think it stands for initialize or something, but basically this is the code that the, that the board would read and run uh, uh, for the particular sound set. So when you open this uh, I, uh, ENI file, okay, uh, it, will you, it will tell you what's, what is the param parameters that you're supposed to be running. 
So you can set your radio to PPM or IBUS. So in this case, I'm going to set it to IBUS, which is uh, setting number one. Be very careful not to change uh, not to change uh, the, the the code lines because you know a computer read code lines. If you get it wrong, the thing will not read properly. And then I'm going to set. So I'm basically setting the radio type to channel to IBUS, the channels to ten channels, and then for the engine off, I'm set to channel five. For the lights on off, channel six. Inertia, I'm not going to play with that. So I'll put the zero, not used. Smoke on off seven. Remote volume zero because it's not used. And optional sounds, I put to eight because that way I can switch on uh, the optional sounds like the songs or whatever recordings you want to play. And then for this tank, I'm going to put a combat tank, so it's zero. And then for the, the class, I'm going to put as one light tank. And then so on and so forth. So you can read the entire uh, lines of code, what, well, what's going to be running and all that. So this is what I found out as well. You can actually set up the uh, the all kinds of setups such as the recoil uh, direction, you can change the gearbox setup, which is the normal gearbox, like the Henglong, Taigen and such, or you can change to the, the Tamiya uh, dual clutch uh, differential type of gearbox, okay? Uh, that, then there is the audio setup, and the audio setup is where you confirm what sound set you're running, because you may have the, uh, you may have uh, the, the Abram sound set installed onto the, the tank folder outside but if the the lines the code lines here does not match the folder outside it will not play that sound so this is what I found out so you make sure you you have the exact same tank uh, folder and that matches the IBU ini uh, file so if you have an M1 Abrams uh, uh, sound set you make sure you have the M1 Abrams uh, sound set for for the cannon and the machine gun and such this is what I found out Okay, or else the you can play the engine start startup sound, but when you fire the cannon, it doesn't work because the ENI file does not match the uh, the folder. Okay, so this is the, uh, the 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 gist of it. Once you've got everything set up, all you need to do is save, go back out, of course, close it, and then you take your micro SD card, put it in your tank, and have a go. Let's let's try. It. Okay guys, I'm going to quickly show you how to set up your radio transmitter or TX to uh, for the IBU board. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to press on this icon. It's, it's a new safety feature to unlock. Okay, once it's unlocked, you can press this on. Go to systems. Okay, the first thing you need to do, uh, usually for RX buying, you don't need to do this because usually when you buy it straight out of the box, it will be bound to your receiver and uh, it will be bound to model number one. If you have multiple receivers, then you, you bind it again to model number two and such, so on and so forth. Never mind that, that's for advanced stuff. Output mode should be IBUS for IBU and PWM, okay? Sticks mode, sorry. Sticks mode, uh, I use M2, but you can use whatever other sticks you like because uh, I like to drive with the right stick, but some people like to drive with the left stick. We'll get to that in a minute, okay? Uh, not important for now, but this is the, if you want to change sticks, this is the, the mode where you need to go to. Okay, and of course for other things would be like for throttle, self-centering because both sticks are self-centering. And that's it. So we've called the function and this is how we're going to set up the the um, the switches and stuff. Let's go to auxiliary channels. Which okay, so channel 5, SWA, channel 6, SWD, channel 7, SWB, 8, SWC. 9, you can leave it empty, 10, VRB. We're going to go out, we're going to do mix, and the mix should be this. It looks like this. When you first set up, you got to press on, like so. And then this is a setup. Master should be channel 10, slave channel 3, positions 100 and 100. Just to show you how, how it looks like, this is what you need to go, and then you set to channel 10, for example. So it should, it should start at 1. What you need to do is channel 10, yes, channel 3, position to 100%, 100%, okay? That's it. It's a very simple setup and you're good to go. Turn on your, your tank and I'll show you next. Okay, this is what you need to do. Um, I remove all the wires unnecessary for this uh, video to show you really quick. Okay, so 
to connect to the receiver is only one wire okay it's on the fifth row of pins sorry seventh row of pins over here okay and it goes straight on to the receiver over here very simple okay if you're not sure of the polarity is really simple just turn it around okay if it doesn't work just turn it around uh, it doesn't really matter what, uh, what polarity you put in here because the positive is in the middle so if you do it wrong it won't burn the board so no issue I'm gonna show you how real quick oh, it looks like let's say we get it wrong okay like so okay let's see system ready it doesn't connect but there's no light so if you just turn it around if it's correct, you'll light up. Make sure you put it on the um, in this uh, port over here, not the regular ports, uh, which is facing this direction. Okay, make sure you put it in this port. There is a special segment for the I bus over here. Okay, only one wire receive uh, receiver wire is needed because it's I bus. It will take up to sixteen channels, but in this case, only uh, eight. Okay, so. As you heard, the lady said it's system ready. All you need to do, you need to calibrate the board, remove the, the programming uh, jumper. Starting calibration. Eight channel setup. Move the stick you want to use for barrel up and main gun fire to maximum position. When done, release to neutral. Move the stick you want to use for barrel down and machine gun fire to maximum position. When done, release to neutral. Move the stick you want to use for traverse left to maximum position. When done, release to neutral. Move the stick you want to use for traverse right to maximum position. When done, release to neutral. Move the stick you want to use for forward movement to maximum position. When done, release to neutral. Move the stick you want to use for backwards movement to maximum position. When done, release to neutral. Move the stick you want to use for left steering movement to maximum position. When done, release to neutral. Move the stick you want to use for right steering movement to maximum position. When done, release to neutral. Move the switch or pot you want to assign to channel 5 to maximum position. When done, release to minimum. Move the switch or pot you want to assign to channel 6 to maximum position. When done, release to minimum. Move the switch or pot you want to assign to channel 7 to maximum position. When done, release to minimum. Move the switch or pot you want to assign to channel 8 to maximum position. When done, release to minimum. Calibration complete. Insert the green jumper on the board. System ready. That's it. Very simple. Okay, on how to work the, the radio. Okay, it will drive like a hanglong. So, uh, once the engine is off, you can't you cannot drive it. But note, there will be a slight lag. You know, about a second or so. Okay, and for turret elevation, you have to move. Sorry, I'm gonna. You have to move the stick a little slightly. You can't move it fast like that because that's for firing a cannon. But if you were it to move it slightly, but if you move it too much, so you have to find the balance. If you can see on camera, hang on. Right, there you go. So if you see on this, it's about here. But if you move more than that, so the turret elevation is here. Okay, so that's the trick. Okay, and uh, this is the engine on. Driving it. Okay. I'm going to turn it off so I won't drive off the table. This is the lights. Okay, so the lights just came on if you can see. Note there will be a one second delay. See if I turn off, and there's the delay. Okay, uh, we have slaved the uh, smoke to to this one to the seven, but obviously with the engine off it won't run. And this is the optional sounds which will play music. Fire! 
this will be again let me turn on the engine turn on the smoke there you go nice and smoky and to turn off Alrighty, that's it guys, very simple. Uh, remember the tank, uh, the board has a lot of momentum, so it, when it, So when you do drive it, when you when you let go of, this, of the, the, the throttle, the tank will continue to roll forward, so apply a little brake and it will stop. So that's the that's the difference between normal uh, Henglong and IBU. Also that uh, when you drive uh, there will be slight um, delays in the controls. It's not instant so just give it time. Okay? Like this, like so. Okay? Very simple, very easy. A lot of potential. Okay, another another thing on the point of why we did the mix, right? Because when you were to fire the cannon, which is the stick up, let me move it out of the way. So we found the alternative is when we mix it, we we are able to use this as the 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 guns, so machine gun and cannon. There you go. Nice uh, trick. This is what uh, we found out. Uh, thank you, buying for your trick. Of course, some people like the Tamiya style, so you still can fire your, your cannon. Or gun. And here. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's how to video on how to install the IBU2 Ultimate for your tank. It, as you can see, it comes with a lot of options, a lot of. Um, programmability, different sound sets you can change on the fly. It's quite user friendly once you get the hang of it and it is far more durable than other brand of boards I would say. Um, the components used are high quality, um, automotive grade which will withstand a wide range of temperatures so there's no issue with overheating and stuff like that so it's very stable and uh, you can get this from our web store rctanklegion.com and if you buy from our website, it's free shipping worldwide. So please ch check out our website. Okay guys, remember to uh, wash your hands, wear masks when you go outside, stay, be safe. And uh, stay tuned for the next video on, on our how to's for RC tanks. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.